AI is evolving quickly. It's powerful and it's power hungry. A new report from the International Energy Agency says that globally we're set to nearly double our energy usage in the next five years. Much of that due to the explosion of artificial intelligence. Researchers at Oregon State University have developed a new computer chip that cuts at least one aspect of AI electricity use in half. In fact, they're using AI to solve an AI problem. The, the amount of communication that we are talking about is, is of the orders of hundreds of trillions of bits going around in a data center in order to do something. OSU Associate Professor Tajasvi Anand is talking about the immense amount of data zipping across the internet. He and graduate assistant Raman Javadi have been trying to make that data transfer smarter and more efficient. It's urgent. In 2030, the power that we need to, you know, spend on AI it would be 35 gigawatt, which can be six times the power the New York City is consuming in a year. That's nearly enough to power 29 million homes for a year. In fact, the International Energy Agency says AI alone will account for about a 20% increase in U.S. energy demand in the next five years. Just asking ChatGPT about its own energy usage draws up to 15 times the power of a typical Google search. Javadi and Anand are now using AI to solve an AI problem. We are uh, implementing some AI principles in the chip itself to recognize those errors and uh, you know clean the errors up. Uh, in a very more efficient way and a smarter way than the conventional transceivers. To better understand the discovery, consider how traditional data is sent in bits and small pieces of a larger puzzle shot at warp speed through a data center from chip to chip, disassembled along the way, then reassembled at the destination. The new OSU chip bypasses all the intermediate translation. We can we, we are able to basically recover the data or communicate the data from point A to point B in less than half the power uh, than that was required in some of the previous solutions uh, that exist in the industry today. Professor Anand says it may take the tech industry a few years to pivot to a new design like this. He and Raman are already working on advanced versions. Meanwhile, Oregon legislatures are working to carve out a separate ratepayer class, specifically for data centers built locally. Sponsors of HB 3564 say that that will equitably distribute costs back to heavy electricity users like data centers. That bill, by the way, has passed the House and is waiting for a full Senate vote. That's your good energy. I'm Chris McGinnis.